And I'm gonna be sharing my tips and struggles that I've been through uh, to stay fit up until I'm 60. Imagine what it would be like if you looked better at 65 years old than how you looked while you were in your 20s and 30s. That is mind-blowing, right? But this is the exact case of fitness fanatic Bobby Parker, who revealed that the diet and workout routine she adopted while in her 50s transformed her life and body. And I have found the best way to do that is through high-intensity interval training. As a woman in her 60s, Bobby looks younger, better, and more healthy than most women in their 30s. In this video, she'll be revealing the exact diet, workout routine, and skincare and lifestyle changes that enabled her to achieve these incredible results. Today, women are staying fit longer. We need all the help we can get with our evolving bodies. Bobby Parker was born in 1958 in Portland, Oregon. According to her, it was clean eating and working out that helped her hone her physique, but she claims that the real trick that truly transformed her body was weight training. The thing is, is that it works your glutes, uh, not only your back glutes, but your side glutes, which mm. is very, very important uh -huh. for, you know, like keeping your knees strong. Before embracing clean eating and working out, Parker struggled with her weight and even had image issues. She struggled with all these into her 50s, and the unfortunate side effect of the story back then was that she would do endless amounts of cardio to shed body fat, but didn't see any improvement in her physique. And because of this, she had several mental breakdowns. Imagine that feeling of doing everything you think is right, but getting no positive results. Imagine how frustrating that could be. That is the exact spot Bobby found herself in. But as time went on, she began seeing significant results just after increasing her food intake and adding heavier weights to her gym routine. Until I hit my mid-50s, I always struggle with the last 10 to 15 pounds. I have small hips, so I could carry it off and always look skinnier than I was. And it's like a reverse lunge to the side, dropping the weight to the center and coming up over the head as you go to the side with the leg. My fat always went to my stomach area, thighs, and arms too. But when I figured out my food and started adding more weights than cardio, it all changed for me. That was really the key, because even though I was a personal trainer, I still fell into the mind trap of believing I needed more cardio to look like I wanted to look. After achieving her incredible transformation, she now advises older women to eat properly and not to be afraid of weight training, because many believe weights will make them look bulky, Still, Bobby insists that isn't the case. Women, especially in that age group, don't eat enough, are still skipping breakfast, and are still too focused on cardio. The way I look at it, I would rather look a little bulky and firm than have unhealthy loose fat, she said. Over the years, Bobby has advocated for everyone to love their bodies at any age, no matter how their bodies look, and she says that confidence is the key to living a youthful life. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to be the one to screw this up. Hey. That's it. That's okay. <laughs> I know we got to be perfectly in sync here. Or we're going to crash. We didn't even... Speaking in an interview, she said, This brings me to another subject of body dysmorphia, which a lot of us have. Learning to love you and how God made you is the most important thing a woman can do. You should have confidence that shines through no matter what you look like. According to Bobby, fitness is just a means to get a better body, or look better, but also a way to help cope with life changes and recharge herself mentally, physically, and emotionally. Hormones, menopause, and thyroid problems are the physical problems. I have struggled or going through things that can help other people, such as menopause, hormonal, program, hormonal problems, and such. So. There can also be big life changes for women, such as child migration, divorce, loss of a spouse, and having to take care of aging parents. Also, just dealing with the fact that we are aging can really be hard, but I have found fitness to be one of the best things to help with rebooting our life at this stage. We don't have to give up on our hopes and dreams. Getting the body fit helps us mentally and emotionally too. Now you can control this intensity. You can come up higher, down lower. Make sure you stay in your heel. Bobby's workout routine is a harmonious blend of various elements, including cardiovascular exercises, strength training, flexibility work, and a dash of adventurous spirit. This mother of two truly grasps the significance of cardiovascular exercises, and she spends at least 30 minutes per session on them. Her cardiovascular exercises include cycling, 
running on a treadmill, and jogging, she also embraces the power of resistance training, understanding that it enhances bone density, ignites the metabolism, and sculpts her overall physique. Bobby opts for a variety of tools, from free weights and resistance bands to weight machines, as she hones in on different muscle groups. Her strength training sessions encompass exercises such as squats, lunges, deadlifts, bicep curls, tricep curls, and push-ups. She integrates strength training into her routine two to three times a week, allowing her muscles ample time to recharge and rebuild. Bobby understands the vital role of rest and recovery within her fitness journey. She attunes herself to the subtle whispers of her body, allowing adequate rest days to prevent overexertion and reduce the risk of injuries. On these rest days, Bobby rejuvenates herself through active recovery activities such as gentle stretches, leisurely walks, or indulging in relaxation techniques like meditation and deep breathing exercises. Bobby's breakfast of choice is often a veggie omelet expertly created with egg whites or whole eggs and an array of vegetables which could include spinach, bell peppers, mushrooms, and onions, creating a colorful symphony of flavors. This omelet not only provides her body with a good dose of protein, but also delivers essential vitamins and fiber to keep her feeling satisfied and ready to take on the day. To wash it all down, Bobby enjoys a comforting cup of herbal tea or a refreshing glass of water. And as long as you've got a great meal plan in place too, you're going to see results. Now, let's move on to lunch. For her main course, the fitness trainer opts for a portion of grilled chicken or salmon seasoned with aromatic herbs and spices. They not only tantalize her taste buds, but also offer omega-3 fatty acids, contributing to her overall health. Alongside her protein, Bobby enjoys eating quinoa salad. To further boost her vegetable intake, Bobby pairs her main course with a side of steamed broccoli, carrots, and asparagus. One of Bobby's go-to snacks is a small cup of Greek yogurt topped with a colorful assortment of mixed berries. And as the day winds down, it's time for Bobby's dinner. Her dinner choice revolves around a serving of grilled tofu or lean beef. Marinated with a blend of herbs and spices, she also enjoys roasted vegetables. Uh, and so I'll just do like a brain dump and then remember my, um, you know, what my thought was, what I wanted to be clear on for the day. And I circle back. For Bobby Parker, taking care of her mental health is an essential aspect of her overall well-being. She understands that physical fitness alone is not sufficient to leading a fulfilling and balanced life. Bobby incorporates various strategies and practices into her routine to prioritize her mental health and maintain her emotional well-being. One of the ways Bobby takes care of her mental health is by engaging in regular self-reflection and mindfulness. She sets aside dedicated time for this, allowing herself to process her thoughts and emotions. This practice helps her to gain clarity, reduce stress, and cultivate a positive mind. Bobby believes that being in tune with her thoughts and emotions enables her to make better decisions and navigate life's challenges with resilience. Additionally, Bobby emphasizes the importance of self-care activities that promote relaxation and stress relief. She recognizes the value of taking breaks and engaging in activities that bring her joy and peace of mind. Whether it's spending time with her family, reading a book, practicing yoga, or meditating, these activities help her recharge and find balance amidst her busy schedule. Another aspect of Bobby's mental health care routine involves seeking support from loved ones and maintaining strong connections with her social network. She believes in the power of human connection and finds comfort in sharing her experiences and challenges with trusted individuals. Moreover, Bobby acknowledges the significance of setting boundaries in her personal and professional life. Talk about it, to, um, you know, for a few minutes and just linger on that thought then. I find that really helps set your intention for the day. She recognizes the importance of saying no when necessary, avoiding burnout, and prioritizing her own needs. By establishing boundaries, she maintains a healthy work-life balance and protects her mental and emotional well-being. Lastly, Bobby practices gratitude and positive affirmations as part of her daily routine. Expressing gratitude for the blessings in her life and focusing on positive aspects helps her maintain a positive outlook. She believes that nurturing a mindset of gratitude helps counteract negativity and fosters a more resilient and optimistic mindset. And oh, yeah. you always want to hold the stretch for about 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, so. that feels so nice. Yeah. This incredible woman says her top tips for looking young over the age of 60 are to stay active, build muscles, and eat healthy most of the time. She also urges people to accept themselves for how they are, avoid cosmetic surgery, 
and take care of your health, adding that your 60s can be the best years of your life if you work on it. She said, get a little help when needed, but stay as natural as possible. Be you, go gray if you want to, and dye your hair if you want to, accept where you are with your age, and love the people in your life. Get your hormones checked and take care of your health. These can be the best years sexually, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. You can be satisfied fully if you work towards it.